So I want to do Z plus 1 over Z. So the first thing that we need to find is 1 over Z. So that is 3 plus I over 1 minus I plus 1 minus I over 3 plus I. Need a common denominator. So 1 minus I upon 3 plus I. First numerator will be 3 plus I all squared. And our second numerator, 1 minus i all squared. 3 plus i all squared. Square the first term. Twice the product. Square the last. Square the first term. Twice the product. And square the last. And that is all over 3 minus 3i plus i minus i squared. So that's minus minus 1. So on the top we have 9 take away 1, 8 plus 1, 9 take away 1 is 8. And then 6i take away 2i. And on the bottom we have 4 minus 2i. Now I'm going to divide everything through by 2 firstly. And then we need to multiply by the conjugate so that we don't have a complex number on the bottom. So the top line becomes 8 plus 4i plus 4i plus 2i squared. And the bottom line becomes 4 take away i squared. So we have 8 take away 2, which is 6, 8i all over 5. The only difference here in the solution is they have left their final answer in fractions. So if p plus qi all squared would be p squared plus 2pqi plus q squared i squared. So that's p squared minus q squared is the real part and 2pqi is the imaginary. So p squared minus q squared is 17 and 2pq equals minus 6 root 2. So p will be minus 3 root 2 divided by q. So if we replace that, p squared will be 9 times 2 all over q squared. Minus q squared equals 17. And multiplying through by q squared, 18 minus q to the 4 equals 17 q squared. q to the 4 plus 17 q squared minus 18 equals 0. And we notice that that factorises q squared. And we want to have plus 18 minus 1. So q squared equals 1, which means that q equals plus or minus 1. Q squared equals minus 18, which means that Q equals root 18 I. And the square root of 18 is 3 root 2. Q is going to have to take the values plus or minus 1. If we let it take I, then we're going to have an I squared, and then that term becomes real. So if Q equals plus or minus 1, then P is minus 3 root 2 divided by plus or minus 1. So that means when q is 1, p is minus 3 root 2, and when q is minus 1, p is 3 root 2. So we've got to start by understanding what the point is, and we know that this is a circle which has radius two and its center is at one minus one. If I sketch that on an argon diagram then I'm going to have a circle one minus one radius two so if we think about our circle it's going to cross the axis. So that's the point 1 minus 1. 
that distance is 2 and that distance is 2. That's not a great circle that I've drawn. So then have v minus 4 plus 5i modulus equals 1. So that's going to be a circle which is the centre at 4, 5 and its radius is 1. So if I go here and draw my circle, we'll call this circle 1 and circle 2. So u is any point here in this circle, or sorry, v is any point here in this circle, u is any point here in this circle. Um, we're asked for the maximum distance u minus v. So the first thing we need to know is what's the distance between the two centres of the circles. We then want to find the maximum difference between two points u minus v. Just remind you, u can be any point in this circle, v can be found any point in this circle. So the maximum distance will then be, or the maximum di difference between them is when they are furthest apart. And that's going to happen along this line. We have a radius here of 2 and we have a radius of 1. We we'll now start by working out the distance between the two centres. That's the square root of 3 squared plus 6 squared. That is root 45. And the maximum, maximum of the difference between the two points will be root 45 plus the two radiuses. Root 45 plus 3. Root 45 is 9 times 5, so that's 3 root 5 plus 3.